Welcome to a new DIY engineers video. In this video, we're going over contour detection in OpenCV. I'll be using a Raspberry Pi, but this applies to OpenCV and Python in general. Now, a contour is a curve joining the continuous points along a boundary of an object or surface or whatever you're identifying within OpenCV that have the same color or intensity. I made a previous video on tracking a green ball, and as part of the tracking, a yellow circle was drawn around the ball. That was a contour. So here I have an example code. We run it and I have several colors in the image and then I'm using thresholds to identify and put it in black and white, right? So we'll be using that as a starting point and we'll be finding the contours of the shapes. So let's do that. So we'll open up some space here and we'll write contours, comma, hierarchies, hierarchy, singular, equals CV2 and then so this will find the contours and it'll give us the hierarchy. Now what this is doing is we're passing the image that we call threshold. This was the output image that we saw just a few seconds ago. This is going to define the retrieval mode. Now there's several options and they're listed here in their OpenCV website. So you can see here, for example, in this example image, how the hierarchy is listed, right? So they have several options. They have RTIR list, which basically gives you all contours. There's no hierarchy. They're all the same. You can see here in this image how they have zero, one, two, then there's two A three and three A and four and five. This has a hierarchy to it. So if you want something like that, right? The external will give you only the external ones. So that would have ignored anything inside of this bigger rectangle. You also have the C comp, which basically has a two level hierarchy. You're either in the one level or the two. And then you have the the tree, which is like you got the whole family tree there and it will go as deep as needed within the hierarchy. So go to OpenCV if you want to find out more about that. I'll be covering this for some basic understanding. So I'm going to use the first one, right? That gives you all contours with no hierarchy. And then we have this parameter, which basically means if you want all points of the contours or just the minimal required to define a shape. So for example, if you have a rectangle, you can see, right, this will be give me all points. So chain approx none. This will be simple, like the minimum required to define a rectangle, which is just the four corners. So that's the difference. We're going to go with none. So we're going to get all the points. All right, we continue. Now that we have the contours, we want to draw the contours. So for that, we use CV2 draw contours. We pass the image. That's the original image with the circles and the colors and everything else, not the black and white. We'll pass contours. That's the variable we calculated here. I'll define negative one. So we get all the contours that were identified. And then I'll get it. I want to get that in red. So the contours will be drawn in red color. And then the thickness. I want that number two. And let's go ahead and draw the contours or display them. So that'll be contours, comma, IMG. And then the same. The rest doesn't change. Write a typo in here. So you can see here, the blue diagonal line has this contour around it, drawn in red. The circle has this. The rectangle has outer and inner contour. And the white circle has a contour as well, just like this one. And then the green square has similar to this inner and outer contour. So let's close that and let's change that parameter within the find contours function. And let's change this to external. Save and rerun it. So this one no longer has the inner edge shown in red, right? So that contour is no longer displayed. Same thing for the blue square, the inner edge is not displayed. And even the circle inside of the square is not displayed because they're all internals to the contour that was defined, right? The outermost contour. So that's the impact of doing that. Can go ahead and change that to what we had it. And then let's see what happens when I change this negative one. So for now, let me just rerun it so you can see what we have. And we have everything contours drawn. If I put a negative one here, it's going to draw all contours. If I put a zero, it's just going to draw the first one. In this case is the inner of the green rectangle. If I put a one, that'll be the second one. So it's doing outer of the green rectangle or square. If I do the next one, it moves to the next one and so on. But if I do a negative one, it'll do all of them, which is what we saw. All right, so bring it back to original and you can see it. All right, so this concludes the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.